am your uh, commentator, CB, joined by Lee, and uh, we're going to be commentating this tier one game, Tater Thoughts versus Solar Eclipse. Uh, I'm pretty excited. I always love seeing these uh, high level, uh, I guess, uh, sort of teams going up against one another. It's uh, always nice to see this. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're going to be starting off on Ruins, so uh, it should be not as much uh, boop stuff, which I would like to see. But uh, we're going to be seeing some interesting stuff being run here. Maybe some Winston, maybe some uh, Ryan Zarya, more traditional stuff. We'll see how it goes. Mm, it's and the seen... of, like dive, dive coming out of uh... solar eclipse, yeah. So, yeah, so uh, yeah. Uh, it's looking like Tater Thoughts are going to be going with more of a Ryan Zarya comp as well. So we'll see how um, this goes. More of a brawly kind of style here compared to this just straight up dive coming from uh, Solar Eclipse here. So they're coming in, marching on to the point. Uh, looking like Aiden's just kind of swinging his hammer, not really doing much. And uh, here comes the Tracer on the flank, trying to pick off real fast. And uh, not really going to be finding much. Might have to back away before he gets picked off. Although Jaltic does fall uh, does fall pretty low. Uh, they're going to be fighting for control onto this point. Iruk manages to find the Winston. However, Jaltic does fall to Pyro. So uh, it's pretty even though. However, Aiden and Eskimo, the two tanks, are getting the uh, upper hand in this duel. So it's looking like they're going to take the first uh, capture. Yeah, it was a great first pickoff. I rock onto the change six Winston player. Yeah, he um oh he's, they're swapping Ryan Zarya too. Yeah. Um they have the Ryan Zarya coming out, but they do have both DPS ults. That Echo ult was built very fast actually. Uh so we'll see what he decides to go uh into. Maybe the uh Ryan perhaps. Oh, West finds two, but Iruk is evening it out, but uh, Pyro and West are just trying to carry this as much as they can. West falls, though, to foul. Uh, the Moira just being a little annoying right there. Uh, looking like Iruk and uh, Thou are just going to take control of this point right here. It's all up to uh, the Ryan Mercy, but uh, it's not going to work out in their favor. No, the, the backup came just as I needed it. Yeah, um, they still haven't used Duplicate yet, which is interesting. I thought they would have tried to invest that uh, to perhaps build a Shatter, maybe, or a Death Blossom. And uh, here comes Iruk onto the high ground, trying to find this little flank right here. Trying to be a little annoying to Pyro, drops him down to half, but he's going to get healed up pretty quickly by the Mercy. And uh, here comes the fight right here, just this kind of brawl going on. Let's see who wins the neutral game. Here comes the Nano, fights two with the Shatter, but the uh, Echo, uh, well, the counter Shatter comes out. Echo finds the Shatter right here, Fire Strike and the pin. You know, then I just taking out Eskimo real quick. Jaltic and Thal, though, evening it up. So uh, they're probably going to stay in control here. Uh, they invested pretty much everything though, so uh, both teams are going to have pretty much nothing to work with on this next fight. And they've got a change for, um, on the Wrecking Ball on, the, on Solar. To test yeah. Point on that. Yeah, but Thao and Iruk are just uh, finding these picks constantly. Iruk is just popping off on this Reaper. Can anyone stop him? He's just going ham right now. Uh, Jaltic does find a couple too to finish it off, and that's probably going to be the point right here. I don't think anyone's going to contest. 100 to 0, going in favor of Tater Thoughts. Iruk was the main player for that first fight. He, he managed to get the initial pick on the first fight, which gives the control to the point, and then. He kind of popped off got like two or three on the second fight when they was down quite a few. Yeah, he uh, he did a lot of the final blows for that team. I'm kind of curious to see his stat on the final blows because uh, he kind of popped right there. He, he was kind of nasty on that Reaper. But uh, we're going into Lighthouse, uh, so we'll see how this goes. You can go for more of a Lucio kind of boopy kind of thing, Wrecking Ball maybe. But uh, we're not seeing that. We're seeing Lucio though, but we're not seeing the Wrecking Ball from anyone. We're seeing Ryan Sigma, Ryan Zarya. 
Interesting comps. Symmetra. Symmetra on, this, on the side of Sola. Ooh, they do have a Symmetra. So they're going to try to take control of this point before anyone can come in trying to set up. And uh, the Reaper going to be TPing onto the high ground, so we'll see if Irock can come and be a nuisance in this uh, this backline right here. But he's going to have to deal with those uh, Sim turrets. Here comes the neutral fight. Jaltic finds one in uh, Pyro, and that's going to be one for them. But West evens it up, uh, takes out the support. So uh, it's going to be tough to break the Sim comp since they got first point control. I don't know how they're going to manage this. Uh, it's going to be... Very tough to break this. Pyro finding Aiden, and that's going to be the cleanup coming up. Uh, Eskimo finding one, but it's not really going to matter, though. Yeah, Ooh, to, to, to uh, break this sim, they probably need to go get of a spam just to try and clear the turrets. Yeah, Lee, I... you sound a bit quiet on the mic. Who? Uh, Lee. Lee? Oh, okay. Um. Oh, West finding that pick onto Jaltic. You just hit him with the the energy ball right there and just absolutely demolished him. And Pyro finding a couple picks as well onto Aiden. And uh, he took out Iruk earlier. So, um, I mean, they're taking control. They're already at 50%. I don't know what they're going to have to do to break this. Uh, you're saying more spam, and uh, that's probably what they're coming with with Iruk and Jaltic on the far end Junkrat. Yeah, <clears throat> that was a great left click from uh, the Symmetra to pick out the soldier at the start. Yeah, um, Iruk coming in, finding the Sigma. Shatter comes down, finds a couple, but it's not going to be enough because two picks are being found by Thal with that Coalescence. Uh, this should be the fight for them. Uh, skill Orb kills Funny Rafa, and uh, that's just going to be the cleanup coming in. They're going to take control, but... It's pretty much one fight territory for uh, for Solar Eclipsed. Yeah, this the switch to the Pharah has, has brought this fight back for them. Mm -hmm. uh, West is swapping on to the Soldier, so that's going to be the Pharah counter. Uh, but I don't know if that's going to be enough because they have the Mercy Pocket. And Soldier honestly doesn't do enough. Here comes the uh, Grav and uh, the... Uh, the barrage being thrown in by Jaltic finds for that sound barrier came in and it did not matter because Jaltic absolutely popped with that uh, barrage. He managed to get that barrage quite quick. He really I did. Uh, we have... about that. <laughs> <laughs> a bit of a technical difficulties here. <laughs> uh, it was a pause test. <laughs> yeah, we're just checking to see if it works. It's all good. Uh, but here we are, uh, they are going to be pushing in on this uh, far side, the tanks anyways. Uh, Pyro gonna trying, uh, going to be trying to find an opening with his uh, Meteor Strike. Lands right on top of Ira, taking him out. Riptire doesn't find anything, and uh, the, gra uh, the Gravitic Flux comes down and finds one uh, pick as well. Jaltic finding West though. There goes the counter for the far out Pyro though. Killing Eskimo. Let's see if anyone can take out this far out, or is he just going to be a nuisance? Uh, but we'll see how that goes because they're already at 90% compared to 60. They need to find an opportunity to touch here or else it's just going to be done and dusted. Oh, Shatter gets cancelled! <laughs> That's sick. And here comes the Barrage by Jaltic. Finds one, but gets taken out immediately. Here comes Aiden and Iruk, though. Uh... It's looking like the uh, Tater Thoughts might win out this fight. Here comes the pin. Uh, it's not really going to matter though because Eskimo is just going to take him out. Aiden is going to kill one. Wes finds a pick, but uh, it's all for naught because Tater Thoughts takes the point. Yeah, this is a great turnaround for the Tater Thoughts to secure that point. Mm -hmm. They have plenty of ults to work with, it looks like. Uh, Solar Eclipse, that is. They have the Shatter. They have the uh, Soldier Roll and the Coalescence as well. Plenty of room uh, to take this, but Iruk has his uh, has his Rip Tire coming up online very shortly, so we'll see if that plays any role, and there it is. There's Iruk with uh, the pick right there. Here comes the Rip Tire, and uh, it's going to be finding West, taking out uh, the Soldier while he's popping the ult, so it's looking like 
they are going to manage to take this one despite the uh, valiant efforts of Solar Eclipse. Doesn't really matter. Serathos takes it. Yeah, that was a great first map from both sides. I Rook was just popping on the first map, and then good old management on the second map was able to second back. Mm -hmm. That was a uh, smart play from him, trying to find these kills right here in Jaltic. <laughs> I mean, what, what can you say? That is a sick play of the game, set up by the Zari, of course. I do love seeing a good fail play of the game. I mean, you almost miss it with the amount of, like, Ash, Widow and like McCree and a lot of stuff being played here uh, yeah. to just counter her it's nice to see that and uh, yeah we're gonna be jumping into the next map very shortly or we'll see if they have any substitutions coming in from either team uh, I believe the next map will be Numbani so we'll see how uh, these teams shape up I'm expecting perhaps some dive but you can also see on a defense maybe like an ash to just spam them out or something like that I mean you never know we might even get some bunker <laughs> yeah very possible could see some bastion tour maybe I do like seeing the off rolls played a bit more in the DPS like the torbs and the symmetras because you don't really get to see that often very true. Um, I mean, we saw Symmetra at the very beginning, and it went very well for Solar Eclipse, but, I mean, the swap over to the spam uh, just, you know, annihilated that comp. Yeah. I thought it was the best idea to go block a Pharaoh or something like that, just because there was out of range, and there was getting enough damage, and uh, there was clearing the points as well with the turrets so the teammates could push in. Yeah, and I'm um, not seeing any... I don't know. As a hit scan player, I would like to see some, like maybe some Widow being ran, but I highly doubt it for Numbani. Maybe um, Ash is probably the best we'll get here. Uh, yeah, maybe Ash just... or Sol Soldier will probably be played more. Yeah, it's just so much spam being thrown in that I mean, it's just very annoying to deal with. So that's just probably what you'll see, unless maybe they have a nutty Widow hiding in uh, in their comp somewhere. We'll see. <laughs> We can only hope, mate. For sure. And, um... I don't know. Uh, what do you think Solar can do to, to just bring this back? I mean, they're so close to, you know, tying it up at, at a lighthouse. Um, I think possibly more better alt managements. They, they had quite a few online, and they'd invest quite a few and still not win a fight, so maybe just try and change the way they use their ults more. Yeah, there were some um, ults being popped that I really think they shouldn't have been popped. Uh, I mean, for example, the soldier ult um, just got immediately annihilated, and besides, he was on the edge, so it could have been easily booped. So, yeah. um, I don't know, that was <laughs> maybe poor positioning, but I mean, I don't know. But anyways, we uh, see a swap coming from Solar Eclipse. Uh, we see Rogue coming in for change. So we'll see how um, that plays out. See what he likes to play. Maybe check his profile. Okay, some Ryan, Orissa. Okay. Main tank for main tank. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's just a change of uh, pace. Maybe he's a little more passive or maybe he's more aggressive. We'll see. Maybe they'll, they'll like to do the Orissa Sigma double shield. Yeah, that's a very good possibility. He, um, the second most played hero on him is Orisa. Uh, so Eskimo's coming out actually for uh, King, and uh, Jarl is also coming in for Iruk. Unfortunate to see because Iruk was kind of nutty, but I mean I'm sure Jarl is just as good. The unfortunate thing is Iruk wasn't playing um, who he actually mains. Uh, Considering he was playing off rolls, uh, I believe his play? hit scan. Hit scan. Ooh. Ash is one of one. the nuttiest ones. Hopefully, well, that just makes me. That. 
<laughs> it's me even sadder. <laughs> Don't worry. Uh, Jarl's, uh, Jarl's is just up to par there with him. So Jarl, I would assume, is going to be playing Ash here. Um, yeah. Um, maybe trading in for the hit scan. Oh, I'm eating ice. Sorry. <laughs> maybe trading in for the hit scan here. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll see how that plays out. Oh, plays a lot of Tracer. That's um, <laughs> interesting. We might see a bit of dive. We only really see Tracer with a bit of dive. Perhaps, perhaps. Nubani first point and uh, even second point to an extent is pretty good for dive, I would say. Yeah, you generally see dive on the first two points of Numbani. Mm -hmm. I mean, they, they, they'll switch it probably to like a Ryan Saria comp. Yeah, because I mean, points. you can't really uh, run that on third point. Uh, there's not enough like high ground to control and stuff like that. Well, they could run the dive on the third point because there there isn't the high ground for the opposite team to focus down. Mm -hmm. so, um, but you generally do see the Ryan's area on third point. Um, From what I've seen, anyway. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, these are all like high level players here, so you can see them pretty much run anything with uh, with <laughs> these swaps and these lineups. I mean, these guys are <laughs> ranked pretty high for a reason. These guys are kind of insane. Better than what, like, fifty percent of what everyone can do here. Well, definitely better than me. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Me too. As well. <laughs> me too. His Ash should probably stomp mine. Uh, so I'm not seeing any more swaps. Maybe we're waiting for the teams to ready up here. Uh, we're actually getting changed back in. Okay. Uh, but yeah, I mean, that first, I don't know, I, I always like going back to the Elias, just thinking about what, what could have happened for Solar, like maybe, perhaps not the Soldier, like Soldier was not the play, maybe he uh, could have gone like perhaps Ash or Widow or McCree even. Because Soldier taking out a far Mercy is, I don't know, the Mercy could just out heal. Well, we've got a couple of minutes until we can run this map. Hopefully, we can uh, get it going quite soon. So our viewers don't get bored watching me. <laughs> yeah, they don't get bored of me trying to stall. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, that's the job of the caster is to like just stall until the until the match actually starts. Um, I'm kind of interested with with the swaps here. They they swapped a couple of people from Tater Thoughts. I mean, they're the. It'll, I don't know, it's just interesting to see the, um, especially main tanks coming in and out, like, uh, the dynamic of them changing. Well, I have something that we can fill some time with. Uh, tomorrow, 7.30, we have another game. It's a uh, Tier 2. And Thursday, we've got three games. And Friday, we have two games. And Saturday, we have a game. So, if you enjoy what you're watching, tune in them days and you'll get to see more of the Overwatch from the PS4 tournament. Yeah, nice plug, nice plug. I like it. The real uh, Twitch man. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so we have a ready up coming from Hunter. So we'll see if the... We... Uh... Well, Thoughts already said they were ready. But let me okay. just double check. So once we get the confirmation from Thoughts that um, that they're ready to go, then we're gonna hop straight into Numbani. We'll see how it goes. Hmm. I'm looking at the Discord and I don't like what I see. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay, we are ready from Chaotic. So yep, we're jumping straight in. Uh, we'll see what the teams decide to run. Uh, I mean, Numbani is just one of those maps where you can pretty much run everything on defense or offense. Um, I mean, you see the dive coming in from time to time. You see a lot of double shield and even the Ryan Zarya whenever uh, whenever you can run it. What you do normally find, you do find a Junkrat and Defense on the first point. Ready for just to control uh, of this top area. Yeah, and just as you say it, there is Jarl on the Junkrat and Jaltic coming in on the um, Soldier. So, um, interesting comp here. Uh, like, I mean, we expected some sort of hit scan to just spam them down, so uh, we'll see what Solar decides to run. Uh, looking like a dive comp, but that could change because they're just. They could just be messing around in the spawns, we'll see. What is interesting is we, you see uh, Thoughts are playing the Arisa hub on defense. Yeah, they are. They're running the. Uh, Old school Harissa combo. Uh, it could work against the dive. Uh, I mean, it should work against the dive. So we'll see how that works. And the chaotic is pocketing Jaltic uh, right here. We have most of the team on the high ground. Someone tried to back cap, but that's not happening. That would that would be the wrecking ball hunter trying to back cap. And West just gets annihilated by Yarl on the junk rat. Uh, that was fast, and Jarl is uh, just popping right oh. now. And there's a pause. Oh, I, am, I need sure that... to. I need to unbind it or something because this is raw. Just making sure that feature works. Uh, Jaltic finding Pyro, so uh, they also get the D-Mac on the Diva. So that is uh, gonna be the fight, the defense uh, for uh, Tater Thoughts right here, and they're stalling this uh -huh. Diva out. <laughs> That was a Poor big stall. Diva. Poor D.Va. You hate to see it. Ooh, Jaltic getting the nasty micro missile onto the um onto the Iro. Onto the Ash, I should say. Oh, we got a soldier so that... on the on, on solar as well. Yeah, and that's uh <laughs> they're gonna have to wait for that respawn to come because I mean their hit scan's pretty important for taking out their own hit scan right here. So uh, yeah, they're gonna be going down mid the, uh, the tanks anyways. Uh, DPS are gonna try to you know follow them in suit, but Pyro and uh, and Funny are just gonna be flanking right here, trying to find something. Here comes the ult from Jaltic, finds one. Pyro taking out Foul though. Pyro finding a couple kills actually, and uh, Hunter getting a couple as well. So that is just gonna be the cleanup coming in. They're gonna take the point. Have some really good swaps there to protect that high ground. Yeah, um, they made the right changes, right choices here. Jaltic finding Pyro though, kind of overextended here. Uh, changes is just gonna be trying to avenge, but alas, it's not gonna happen. But he gets rest, so it's all good. Uh, I feel like the rest should have come out a little earlier though, but we'll see how that plays out. I just wonder if they're gonna steamroll this second point, or or a thought's gonna be able to hold them back. Yeah, they have the ults to hold them back, but I mean, Solar Eclipse also has the ults to just keep pushing them back. But West falls to Jaltic, uh, so that's gonna be one hit scan lost for them. But they still have Pyro and his ult. And speaking of that, Bob comes steamrolling in. Uh, and just boots the hog up. Doesn't really find much uh, value other than that, so that's kind of unfortunate. However, Bob does get pulled into the into the fight for a little bit. Shatter comes down, doesn't really find much of a follow-up. West, though, finding Yarl, but Aiden evens it up, picking off the main tank. That's an even bigger pick. And uh, Jaltic, you know, he popped the visor, fell immediately. That was worth, I guess, because uh, he built that so fast. Just trying to brag, I guess. <laughs> yeah, uh, two ults for Tola, Eclipse, and two ults for Thoughts as well. Yeah, and 
I mean, the grab is a pretty big ult, but so is the rip tire. They have to be weary of that coming into this fight. Uh, so here comes the neutral fight right here. Let's see what the Hogwarts can do. But Rip Tire comes down. So does the grab. But Immortality Field comes to save him. Rip Tire finding one, but uh, King also finding one with his uh, whole hog, but being slept up immediately and taken out by Pyro. So it's uh, pretty much an even fight here. Uh, we got one tank down from either side. We'll see how this goes, and the window comes up. Uh, it's not really gonna find much value. Everyone just kind of backs away from the from the line of sight of it. Uh, here comes the full and no chain coming down, uh, and uh, Aiden falls. So does Yaltic. It's looking like they're gonna be able to push this right here, right now, and they do with three and a half minutes left. I think the early picks in the previous fight was uh, was really good because it was able to stagger that so they could put pressure on the Orisa. Just yeah, for sure. Clear that, clear that second point up as well. Mm -hmm. Pyro finds one, throws the bob straight into the back line. Uh, it's just going to be spamming down their team. And uh, gets slept up immediately, though. Bubble almost saved him from the sleep, but it uh, uh, unfortunately did not. So Bob goes away. And uh, Changes has his Earth Shatter, so we'll see what he can find with it. Shatter comes down, gets blocked. So it's not going to find really any value. Aiden falling low, though. Uh, so it could be a uh, nice little fight coming through from him, and Aiden does fall. Jaltik finds a couple, but gets picked off by Pyro. Uh, the Ryan gets slept up and is anteed as well, so healing not going to be coming through. Um, but King finds Hunter. This is a pretty even fight, but the respawns might be too much for Solar Eclipse to handle. Yep. It's looking like they're going to win out. Uh, tater Thoughts. Yeah, the respawn being that close, it's difficult to push the cart to the third point with, with not a full strength squad. Mm -hmm. uh, Hunter and uh, Pyro have their ults coming online. West is pretty darn close to his. But uh, we can have a Bob for Bob trade right here with Yarl and Pyro. And here comes the Bob. Going straight into uh, the front line, and uh, the grab also being thrown in there. It should find a couple people. Shatter comes down, doesn't really find anything, but West flanking finds a couple of kills, and that's going to be pretty big for this. Uh, it could spell doom for uh, Tater Thoughts. Yeah, they're just going to be holding them back right here. Changes, uh, finds one in. Yeah, I saw that pin. It was excellent from Aiden, and uh, it could be all evened up, but they don't touch the cart. And that's it. Yeah, neutral draw, and another DPS player, I think so who it was. They, they didn't manage to get on the points in time. But they, they looked like they were going to hold it at one point as well. Initiating match. Yeah, they... Definitely had a chance to at least stall it out until their uh, respawns came back, but they just weren't able to touch. Uh, so that leaves Solar Eclipsed uh, with a full cap and a minute 23 to uh, to their name. So we'll see if uh, we'll see if Tater Thoughts can pull together an even better attack, or you know maybe like an overtime push or something. Hmm, interesting comps uh, from the side of um, Solar Eclipse. They're going to be running this Orisa Sigma with a Bastion. You were talking about this earlier with the off rolls. Uh, I, I called it, I called it. You, you do see a Bastion on here quite a bit. Well, you do in ranks. It's whether or not the uh, Thoughts can figure out a way to get rid of the Bastion. Because he's going to be the the most damage dealer. Mm -hmm. And they do have a good comp just straight off the gate uh, to deal with this unless they swap. But they have the Hanzo and they have the Echo. Plenty of spam to uh, deal with this Bastion. So um, they also have the uh, ball from Moira to uh, just throw in there from time to time. So um, they have the comp to deal with it. So we'll see what they can do. Hunter falls off the... Uh, high ground, so he's going to have to find his way back up there <laughs> before they get here. And uh, 
They get up pretty quickly. Sigma's still kind of struggling to find his way, and Yar. We got the mercy vein there. They apparently haven't got the reds for that bastion, so the damage is really low on the side of Zona. So. Yeah. Um, neutral and uh, Yaltic are just absolutely popping right now. They pretty much found every single final blow for their team. Uh, so that's just going to be an easy first cap, and Pyro going to be forced to swap onto the Ash to uh, deal with this. Touch from afar. On the side of uh, Tide of Tots, they're going to have um, Dragon soon. I don't know mm -hmm. whether, they'll, whether they'll wait to use it with the Graviton. Yeah, and uh, Wes translocated up to the high ground, but got instantly picked from the Altic, so he swaps over to the soldier. Uh, that is a pretty nice kill. It stops them from building up that EMP to just shut them down in the team fight. But uh, yeah, they're pushing this card. The neutral games is just uh, going right now. We'll see who wins out. Both tanks from uh, Solar Coast falling very low. However, uh, Tater Thoughts are going to find these couple of kills onto the tanks, but Wes and Pyro are evening it up uh, with the both picks onto the tank as well. Um, Jarl is just going to take out Funny Rafa with that focusing beam, so they should win out in this defense, I mean in this attack, I should say, in the end of it. Get into position. Mm -hmm. And uh, ba Baptiste is just going to be stalling this out for as long as he can with the Immortality Field, but it's not going to be... Uh, enough because they're gonna have almost six minutes to uh, cap this. Plenty of time. Plenty of time. But any anything can happen on this third point. It's quite a hard choke to get around. Yeah, indeed it is. And uh, Pyro has his Bob coming up and uh, they also have the window. So we'll see how that works. Coalesce is being popped from Chaotic. So uh, let's see if they can push in with that. Neutral and Jarl and Yaltic are just finding picks constantly. So it's just going to be hard for them to even you know, pop the Bob and pop the Supercharger to just stall it out. They're going to have the Grab Dragon as well for this fight. As well as Shatter and Rally. Yeah, they have plenty of walls to finish this off. Uh, Bob going to be coming onto the point just to stall it out. Maybe give some damage. But the Dragon Strike comes in and it's just going to melt Bob. Shatter comes in and uh, finds Bob, but it doesn't really find much after that. Grab coming in. They uh, wasted the grab dragon combo, so they're just gonna be instantly taken out by West and uh, company. I'm surprised they never used the grab dragon combo. I yeah, mean, they could have done something to bait out the immortality field and then use the, the grab dragon combo. It's a, a teaming in fight, ultimate combo, isn't it? Yeah, they just kind of threw that in uh, without, you know, the coordination, so that might come back to bite them because they only have Coalescence coming online very soon. Meanwhile, uh, meanwhile, what is it, Solar Eclipse, sorry, uh, has a couple ults coming online, but uh, Yaro finding a pick, so that could open it up right here. Aiden just trying to brawl it out. Yaltic, though. Uh, is finding a pick onto the Bob, so it's just going to take him out from the fight. Uh, it's uh, going to be a very close fight. Aiden falls a little low, but he's just going to be healed up real quick. Bow going to 1 HP. Shatter comes up, hits a couple, but the May blocks it, and uh, it's going to be opening up this fight because the Shatter comes down from Aiden, and it finds a lot of people, and uh, it manages to open up these picks from Yaltic. Yaltic popping the visor and finding just a couple of picks with it, and that is going to be the push. Three and a half minutes left on the side of Tater Thoughts. Yeah, that first initial pick from the man it, like, opened up the fight. And then the shatter, not long after, when the, the counter shattered, you know, really helped secure that third point. Mm -hmm. It's going to be, uh, the time game is going to be very hard for um, Solar Eclipse to just push this or even cap the point. Um, I don't know, it's going to be hard for them to really do anything with this. Uh, it is possible, I've seen it happen before. Uh, and, and as a matter of fact, the last game I casted, uh, a team had like four minutes to push a cart. And uh, just just around the corner on of uh, first point or second point, I should say. 
and they weren't able to do it. They uh, lost it out. I wonder if I'll say the Bastion again. I don't think we will this time on defense. Nah, I don't think they're going to be running. Maybe, maybe they might run uh, a cheese comp in uh, for Solar Eclipse, but I don't think um, they're going to... Well, I don't think Tater Tots is going to be running that. They seem to be more straightforward with the Junkrat and the Soldier picks. So we'll see how this works out. Um, Pyro and Wes are going to be running the uh, two, I guess. Well, you have the Hanzo and you have the McCree. I was hoping to see some Soldier, but... Uh, we're getting the McCree instead, which is uh, just as nice. Alright, um, they're going up to this high ground right here. And uh, they're just going to try to brawl it out in this small, tiny room. Uh, they're kind of backing off a little bit. They are considering going around, but no, they're going straight in. Uh, bubble coming through. Just keeping the Ryan up for a little longer. Counter charge being thrown in there. Yaltic finds one on the Pyro. That's a huge pick. But Aiden falls, that's an even bigger pick that could very much open things up. And uh, all they have to do is really just take out either Healer or the Orisa. Changes though, falls, but the Orisa does as well. So this could be it. Funny is gonna get taken out. There's their main heal. But <laughs> Thal and Yara will just absolutely clutch it for their team. I thought they was going to lose that fight, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, same here. Uh, I, that was crazy. Yeah, they, they lost the main tank in Aiden. They lost pretty much like a, a heat, two, uh, two tanks and a healer, so I, I don't know how they won that. But here comes the Rip Tire, finding one on the Funny Rafa. That's going to be their main heal gone with the Coalescence as well. Uh, changes also fall, so that should be it. Uh, so King is just going to be cleaning it up right here. So is the Ryan. Kind of BM on to Pyro though a little bit. Uh, but that's just going to be it. They're not going to get a single tick. And all Tater Thoughts has to do is just get one tiny little tick with uh, three and a half minutes to work with. It'd be interesting to see the comp on both sides. How they go and approach this to get the, fight, the tick on the, on the point that they need. I'm assuming, I don't know, I'm assuming maybe Solar Eclipse might run some kind of cheese strap, maybe with a Torb or something, but I mean, if if they, if they Tater Thoughts predict it like they did last time, you know, it, it could be an easy fight for them uh, if they just decide to run like a spam comp. So we'll see. Um, Pyro and West are going to be on the Ash and Hanzo, so no real cheese comp coming through. Uh, it's pretty straightforward, and that could be a problem if Yaltic stays on this Farah. We got a Zen coming out on Solar. Ooh, we do. You don't see a lot of Zen play nowadays. And with the double shield with the Sigma Orisa. And we got the Baptiste as well. Yeah, they have plenty of sustain, uh, especially if uh, Funny Rafa is able to build up his transcendence before they uh, cap. It could be the ult they need to just stall him out. Uh, that's only if Rafa is able to build that ult though. But we'll see. Uh, Yaltic decides to stay on the Faro, which is very interesting. It'd be good as well for the um, for Sola to put that Discord on the Faro. Yeah, for sure. Um, funny Rafa is just going to fall to the high ground because he was getting spammed down by the barrage or by the rockets. Uh, immortality field comes down, but it doesn't really do much because they fall straight down to the low ground. So uh, Aiden gonna be falling to low ground as well. But Yaltic finding Pyro, that could be the opening they need because all that there is to stop Yaltic right now is um, is this Hanzo. But I don't think it's gonna be enough. And the Zen in the back. <laughs> this end just takes them out, but I don't think it's gonna matter though. That they're definitely gonna cap, and that's gonna be it. Yeah. Yep. Uh, Numbani going to the way of uh, Tater Thoughts. That's. Uh, I mean, it was pretty straightforward. Yes, looks like two maps to know. Yep, two to nothing right now on the side of Tater Thoughts. So um, one more to win the series, but of course we play a fourth map anyways. Just uh, just for the uh, record, I guess. 
So let's see how that plays out. The big time bank kind of helps out the Fox there quite a lot. And an extra two minutes is a, is a lot of time. And looking, look at that healing from <laughs> Chaotic. Almost 16,000. And 22,000 damage being blocked. That's, wow, those are insane stats. Okay, so next map, I believe, is a Everybody's temple. Everybody's favorite. Is it temple? Temple, uh, temple yeah. of Anubis. 2CP, let's go, boys. Everyone loves to see it. I can never call what's going to happen on a 2CP map. Yeah, I mean, I can call the defense pretty well. You see a lot of, like, weird strats being run. You see a lot of junk rat because of the spam. But you could see some, like, Symmetra, Bastion, maybe even Widow, perhaps. But, um, I, I don't know. Temple is just one of those maps where you can just, like, run anything and it just works. It'd be nice to see some Widow. Yeah, yeah, it would be. I mean, this is the map to do it. We haven't seen any yet. I have a gut feeling, though, that if they run his skin, it's going to be Ash. Yeah, but Ash is uh, in the meta quite a lot at the moment. Mm -hmm. uh, we a, do a have some... Yeah, that's true. Uh, it's looking like we do have some subs coming on the side of Tater Thoughts. Um, Eskimo in for Aiden, Iruk in for Jaltic, and VCAT is in for uh, Chaotic. So, um, we'll see how... Uh, that really works out right here. Should be interesting. Uh, we haven't seen any VCAT. Uh, we'll see how their support is. And uh, IRUC, we already know he can pop, so <laughs> that should be fun to watch. What do you think Solar need to do to set this map to, to try and keep themselves in the series? Hmm. I mean, it's it's kind of interesting to me because, I mean, they're not necessarily doing anything like too wrong, other than maybe like ults being wasted, like not like combos not really being uh, utilized. Uh, one second. Uh, okay, and I don't know. Other than that, I mean, their comps are fine. It's just I don't know. I think the DPS players from Tater Thoughts are just finding more picks, honestly. So uh, it might just be up to the alt uh, management. I mean, personally, I think it probably needs to change a couple of the comps because with the running the um, Ryan's area on Tater Tots, they're, they're able to just move forward quickly. Mm-hmm. Um, I think try and match them with that brawl. Yeah, perhaps. Uh, I mean, uh, they are, they do have defense first on Temple, so I mean, you could they could run some like weird strat like they tried doing on uh, Numbani defense. Uh, oh, it could it. work. Yeah, it could work on this. Um, I mean, this is the map to do it re realistically, especially on first point. Yeah, I've seen Sim Bastion on this first port before, when they teleport him up to the high ground. Yeah, I, I have ran a couple of uh, Sim in my days on a uh, temple, so, um, I mean, it's kind of a cheese strap, but it's fun. Not for the other team, though. It, it kind of, like, says, if you want to get me, you're going to have to play Darwin. If they have it on the Bastion Sim on the top. Above the point. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not seeing any swaps coming from Solar. Maybe uh, they're sticking with what they got, but um, we could see something coming in pretty soon. The score's 2 0 to Tater Thoughts. Oh, I see. Look at the Twitch streamer talking to Twitch chat. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's 2 to 0 or 2 0 to. Uh, Tater Thoughts. 
So, I mean, it, it could very well just be a 3-0, but I don't want it to be that way. I want them I want I like seeing the team that's that's losing just at least get one map perhaps I mean the reverse sweep is still on yeah they could uh, pull it off uh, on a map 5 if they uh, went out in temple that could be the start alright so we're asking for the readies uh, from everyone and uh, yeah everyone's ready to go so we're going to be jumping right into uh, temple of Anubis uh, I haven't gotten a ready from Chaotic or from the cat or anybody from the thought side. Oh, oh wait, no, nope. Chaotic is saying hold on, so we're gonna wait a little, little bit more. Oh no, the V cat might have a problem with his uh, team chat. Says might be a bug. Hopefully not the uh, Rona going on. Very <laughs> topical. I'm sure Blizzard. Uh, have got a way to fix his chat bug. Oh, I think it's working. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> a little bit of a banter going on in the team chat right now. So, so are we. CB What's in up? the chat CB in the chat on the Twitch channel so the clips will definitely hit harder once Ezraz is eligible. Um I mean they could very well. I mean all you need is that one like breakout player to just really change everything on your team. Like he was literally like one game away from playing. <laughs> like one comp game. Oh, he wasn't able to play because of his SR. No, he was. He, he hadn't completed his uh, placement matches this season. That's very unfortunate. Yeah, it it does suck. Okay, so um, looking like V Cat is uh, getting his. Well, he had his bug fixed, so we're going in to Temple of Anubis. I'm assuming. In right now maybe <laughs> yep yeah yes CB Twitch he's one game away from completing his plays was on DPS that's why you can't take part today ah uh, no wonder it was a DPS queue <laughs> that's unfortunate I mean I don't like uh, to compare these uh, these smaller leagues to like Overwatch League or something, but I mean, to just look at what one what one player did to the uh, Titans with Shockwave, like all they needed was him, and they are just popping. So, um, I mean, could very well be the case. Uh, it sucks that it was DPS Q. <laughs> I, I know the I know the feeling as a DPS main myself. <clears throat> it might have the widow maker coming from solar eclipse. Ooh, maybe. Uh, it could be a good counter to West right here and uh, Rogues with the uh, pharmacy combo. And uh, it's looking like Irock and V Cat might take this uh, duel in the sky, which uh, is always fun to see. Yep, and they're gonna be sticking on to these comps. They're running the Sigma Roadhog. I can't say I agree with this, but um We'll uh we'll see how this plays out. Um, I just don't think Roadhog is in a good place at the minute. Yeah. He, he has so many counters and He does have a lot of counters and uh changes, finds neutral, but it gets res pretty uh pretty Quickly, so it's not really gonna matter. Dynamite being thrown in on the neutral, uh, so he's just gonna fall back for just a minute before he goes in with this. Um, Pyro falling very low, 1 HP, and he falls to Eskimo. Wes also falling very low because the Mercy is just not there to help. So uh, it's a pretty dead even fight at the moment. Uh, if, if I'm being completely honest, I would expect. Um, I would expect Tater, I mean not Tater Thoughts, I would expect 
for um, perhaps Solar Eclipse to just come out with this win because they, in my opinion, they just have the better comp. Oh, neutral finds a pick onto West, so that could be the opening they need. No more pressure in the sky, but he gets rest. So uh, it's just a back and forth fight at this point. Iruk and Thal getting a couple picks though. Neutral opening it up as well, so that's just gonna be the cap. All they need to do is just clean them up right here. Yeah, the the, the pick on. Oi. That's what the first pick was, <laughs> but there was a pick where the. Um, they got res and then the Pharaoh got taken out, so it took a lot of the damage away. Yeah, I believe that was the pick on to, um... It was on West. On West? Yeah, I was gonna say, it might have been on West, and then... Yeah, they just had to res that. But in any case, uh... Plenty of ults uh, to work with. All six, as a matter of fact. Uh, four Solar Eclipse, the grab being popped. Uh, the way that Flux that is, and it finds Eskimo, so uh, they managed to just find these picks right here with Pyro uh, finding Iruk. So, I mean, they managed to hold them off with only using one ult, so that is pretty good ult management coming from uh, coming from Solar Eclipse. We got the uh. Widow Sight coming up. Ooh, That's a Virage. <laughs> yeah, Virage was popped, but uh, no one there to help him out, so he just gets taken out by Iruk, because, you know, a standing still target is always good for Far to just pick on. Iruk finding a couple with his Barrage of his own, actually. And, um, Rogue's gonna be finding the res, though. It might be enough to stall him out right here. Uh, the Immortality Field just gonna be up to, uh, help out the Sigma. So uh, we'll see how this turns out. Uh, Wecat getting the res. Iruk finding a pick on the changes. Uh, here comes the staggers, or the stalls, I should say. Uh, the Wrecking Ball, of course, and the uh, Lucio. They're just trying, just trying to stall him out. You know, hoping to get a pick somewhere. Um, Rotohog going to be landing hook, though, so, you know, Hammond's just not going to be able to stall forever. Uh, here comes changes onto the Rhine, and the uh, whole hog being popped. Uh, they get a tick right here, they get two actually, so this could be what they need. Pyro though, finding a pick onto VCAT, there goes their main heal, but Iruk finding the Lucio, so uh, it could be anyone's fight, Pyro falling to Yarl though, um, and they're just going to be finding these picks right here. West though, uh, finding a pick onto Iruk could even it up right here, we'll see how this turns out, but Thou gets, uh, gets the Tracer and the Lucio as well, so... I mean, it's not looking too good, but I mean, 2CP is notorious for having these kind of respawn miracles happening. Uh, it could be really anyone's fight. Shatter coming down, finding a couple, actually, and uh, King falling very low. Here comes the Barrage from Iruk, not finding anything, but just zoning them out. And here come the Mines. The Mines just going to be swept away, though, from this uh, whole hog. So, um, shouldn't really make much of a difference. And here comes the Riddick Flux. Doesn't really find anything except for changes though. And uh, Pyro finding a pick onto neutral. And here comes the Meteor Strike. Let's see if they can find anything. And here it comes right down in the center. Doesn't find anything. But it puts him in a good position to find Thal though. Uh, it's, mm, nice pin onto King. It's looking like they are going to win it out in the very end. That's 2 CP for you. Yeah, that, that stall was really good by uh, Eclipse. Yeah, that was an insane stall. It took so much time off the clock, too. It's Only a old, minute? Is it, is it, I couldn't keep track of which ult we've been doing. <laughs> yeah, I was just trying to talk about as many ults as possible. But uh, they have a minute 30 to push this, and that fight... I mean, I don't even know how long that took. Easily took two minutes plus. Yeah, he does swap over the McCree. Uh, let's see if he can find anything with this uh, pick. Uh, West almost on his uh, on his pulse bomb. We'll see if he can, you know, find a couple of picks with that. Maybe uh, they do have coalescence, so maybe they can pop that. And they do. Uh, they also have sound barrier coming online, and all. 
that uh, that Tater Dots has is the uh, Sigma ult and the window to work with. Pyro finding uh, King though, and uh, West and Pyro are just popping right now. They're just kind of clutching it up for their team, you know, casually. 45 seconds left. They're gonna have to regroup before it is too late. They've got some ults coming online there. They've got definitely four. Possibly you can get Irox dead eye off. Yeah, um, but they do have a sound barrier to perhaps counter the um, the Sigma ult right here. Uh, they do have a dead eye of their own as well. And here comes the Sigma ult. Here comes the Gritic Flux. See if you can find anything. And uh, sound barrier comes online and uh, helps out a couple of people here. High noon being popped. And it finds King, uh, and here comes the Diva Bomb as well, finding one, that is going to be huge, and uh, Iruk not finding anything with his Deadeye, Pyro taking him out of it with that stun, with the help of Wes of course, I uh, saw that little play that Wes was pulling off, and they are going to be able to clutch it! They hold them! Phenomenal hold, phenomenal hold. <laughs> that is insane. That pick on the uh, Yarl as well when he, he had Blizzard up. Mm -hmm. was a, that was a turning point of that last fight because it, Blizzard can cause a lot of problems for the opposite team. Yeah, and it, it gives um, it gives Solar Eclipse a uh, it gives them a window of opportunity here. All they need is to get first uh, f first point. And um, and get 86% uh, on the capture progress for the second point. I mean, it sounds easier than it actually is, but I mean, if they manage to take first point, you know, as fast as um, Tater Thoughts uh, were able to do it, I mean, it puts them in a good position to do so. Just looking at the lineups here for the defense, we got Iruk on the Junkrat, the Yarl on the Ash. We got the double yeah. tank, shield tank with the Rissa Sigma, and the Mercy in the back seat for heals. Mm -hmm. I mean, I said it right. I, I mean, uh, this is a good map for Junkrat, especially on first point. I mean, you have the spam coming in from the main uh, choke. We also have this little side room, this little side area that Junkrat can also spam down, as well as if you decide to go to the right, guess what? More spam. <laughs> I mean, Junkrat is just amazing in this map. He closes off so many angles. For the attackers. Mm -hmm. um, I think they see what they're running and uh, they are running the May. It could uh, cause some problems for these uh, for these uh, shield tanks perhaps. Um, maybe even trying to freeze up VCAT here taking out the uh, taking out the Mercy here. And they're going through main but Thou finding Pyro Oh, excuse me, hiccups, and uh, Iruk also finding Rogue, so it's uh, gonna... It's not looking too good for them. Uh, they're gonna have to die really fast. That D.Va is just gonna get staggered out, so it's um, gonna be kind of nasty. Oh, he gets trapped too. Oh, no. Oh, uh, you hate to see it. Do you though? Do you hate to see? <laughs> <laughs> that's kind of funny. He just walks straight into that trap. That's kind of uh, that was that was gold. But um, neutral uh, or y'all, I should say, uh, has the bob to uh, kind of stall him out. But Izzy has his coalescence. He might pop it right here so they can engage and just find a way. But no, it's uh no. Pyro and Rogues are just gonna fall yet again. So they're gonna have to get out really quickly, or else uh, no, it's just not gonna be good for them. Oh, here comes the uh, yellow charge from Change. Uh, they, they get Eskimo. That could be yeah. a huge pick. If they can if the, oh, the rest is coming in. If the respawns come back, they can they can definitely push this. But Thao uh, getting these picks, so his Baptiste is actually kind of nutty right now. Ooh, Wes swapping over to the uh, Widowmaker. I mean, we'll see what they can do, but I mean, with double shield, it kind of sucks for Widow here, uh, especially since they have pretty much every single ult coming online. 
Wow, rogues and pyro. Uh, yet again, they just uh, fall. This is why we said he's a junk rat's man. Yep. And uh, man, this is gonna be so tough to be full held like this, especially after the amazing defense uh, that they put up. I mean, they just have every single ult right here. And uh, they have only got Shatter and Coalescence on the side of the. Uh... Oh, well, Solo, yeah, Solo, Solo, Solo. Solo. <laughs> um, I mean, West swaps over to the um, swaps over to the soldier, hoping he can find something on that, perhaps. Uh, no stranger to swapping so far. He's trying to find this junk rat. Here comes the rip tire, and uh, Gravitic flux being popped as well. Uh, slams people down, stuns them up, and uh, they're just gonna be. Stopping them right here, right now. They pop pretty much every ult though, except for window. So um, I don't know what what, they, what Solar can do. This is this is tough. I mean, popping them ult wasn't bad because they've still got the window. Plus, they probably understand that Solar hasn't got as many ults as what they think. So, like, they've only really got the grab coming online. Yep, and here's the window being popped, so they can. Uh, just spam down main and hunter falling down to king and uh, he gets res though so uh, it evens up the fight right here but west gets trapped leaves him open but neutral finding three picks oh make that four wow huge dynamite coming from neutral or y'all i should say and that's gonna be it the full hold comes through tater thoughts wins it 3-0 but there is a fourth map uh so we'll we'll see if we'll see if Solar can at least win that map. Solar was so unlucky with that attack. That I mean, their defense was brilliant. Yeah, I mean, I mean, look at this way of the game. This is nasty. Oh man, he never missed a shot. <laughs> that was crazy. <laughs> I mean, look at Thal though. Look at that. Like healing he put out, but he also had so many opening picks on those fights that, um, I mean, they never really had a really good fight to engage with. I think everyone on Tatus played the best on that map. Yeah, I mean, especially like the, the Junkrat pick. I mean, like I said, the Junkrat pick. <laughs> Temple is just is such a good map for that, and I mean we saw it firsthand. Well, you did you did mention it at the start that a jump crack could be pivotal in this map. I believe <clears throat> has Twitch place now. Is it? Uh, have he might have in ah. between. Yeah, he has. Oh yeah, he did. Oh, damn. Well, he plays pretty high too, almost 4k. He almost got GM. So yeah, we're gonna see um, Eraz coming in. And was this the player that um, that Twitch chat was uh, talking about? It is. It was Sebi who mentioned him. Okay. Well, we'll see what he can do on uh, this next map. I'm pretty sure... Uh, let me check one more time to make sure what map it is. The next map will be... Rialto. Rialto, yes. So, I mean, he plays a lot of... What? I really like Rialto. Yeah, it's a good map. One of my personal faves. Um, I mean, Eraz, he plays a lot of uh, plays a lot of this uh, Ash right here. So, um, I mean, this is a pretty good map to see him uh, play on as well. I'm intrigued to see what he plays like after his big hype up in, in Twitch chat. 
Uh, his current uh, season, it was mostly Ash, and that's what people were hyping him up for, so um, I'm not too sure what else he plays. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, we're seeing a lot of swaps right here from uh, Solar Eclipse. We have Dabarella coming in. Uh, you mean uh, Tater Thoughts? I haven't changed oh, the name yet. My bad, Tater Thoughts. Excuse me. Uh, I mean, hmm. yeah, you have uh, Dabarella coming in. I'm kind of curious to see. Like what kind of tank play? Arissa, I believe she will be. Yeah, that's a lot of Arissa. <laughs> hmm. Not really many other swaps though, although Iruk does come out. I would, I wouldn't. Apart from Anubis, I wouldn't say this has been a walk in the park for uh, Hater Thoughts. Sir. I mean, so they were part of a, a really good battle. Yeah, I mean, Elios' uh, first point on Ruins wasn't it wasn't close, but I mean, they brought it back in Lighthouse. They almost won it. I uh, there are a couple of fights right there where I think they honestly should have won, but um, I mean. They, they, they've they been playing very well. It's just uh, Tater Thoughts have been, you know, putting an absolute clinic, I should say. Uh, so, I mean, they've been playing very well. Um, I, I think I think the DPS on Tater Thoughts uh, have just been uh, ahead of the Solar Eclipse DPS today. They're, yeah. They're, they've, been get, they've been getting vital picks at the right times. Yeah, I 100% agree, Ennis. Um, I mean, I'd also like to give a shout out to Thal there. Like, uh, like I said, his Baptiste on the last map, crazy. He was just hitting all of his shots, and I mean, his uh, ult placement was pretty good too. Hmm. Um. I mean, we always like. Uh, I always like talking about MVPs. Um, you know, before the match ends, just just to get a feel. Um, and we, I think there's MVPs for each category. So you have tank, DPS, and support. Um, and you can give them to either team. So I mean, honestly, who would you say is like the breakout, like definitive MVPs uh, for for these teams? So from a DPS. I'd probably say Iruk has really stood out for me today. Like that first map, El Nilios on Ruins, where it was just him and the Moira left on the point and still managed to hold it. That was that was pivotal to how the game started. Yeah, he he was playing pretty crazy. <laughs> um, I mean, I I 100% agree. Iruk was just being absolutely nutty, uh, but. If Yarl uh, puts up a pretty good performance here on Rialto, that might change my mind on my pick. Um, and I mean, for Tank, I kind of have to give it to um, Aiden here. Yeah, Aiden's been really consistent with the uh, blocking shatters and just making space for his team so that DPS can pop off for him. Mm -hmm. Eskimo has also like been very, very good. Uh, his um, Zarya was pretty nasty. Well, he was enabling Aiden to do what Aiden needed to do. Yeah, and his grabs were pretty good. Yeah. And for support... Mm... I mean, Thay would be in your first thoughts. Yeah. yeah. And perhaps Chaotic. You could you could make an argument for Eclipse support as well. Yeah, um, both, both 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 of their supports have, have, you know, they've they've done everything they possibly can to try and keep the teams alive. Yeah, I mean Izzy has been playing pretty well too. Um, Moira um, 
on the last map, he he was trying his hardest to keep his team up. I mean, he healed for so much, uh, but he also, I mean, he he was just never def really finding a good opening with with those coalescences. But I mean, on the defense, uh, his his play was pretty pretty darn good, I would say. Yeah, the the players where he was able to stall for so long. On the mm -hmm. third, second point. And I mean, uh, Jarl, um, I mean, he's been playing very good too. But I mean, I reck, uh, he's he's been playing good too. I don't know, everyone's playing yeah. very good on either <laughs> team. Yeah. It's it's kind of hard to like, you know. Oh, off to the outer. Yeah, we're jumping straight in. Um... Let's see what they pull out here on the defense. Um, kind of curious to see what... Um, I mean, I, I have a feeling they're going to run this uh, Orisa, so maybe we can see... That is not what I expected. I was going to say maybe Orisa Sigma or something, but no, they're pulling out the D.Va. Oh, there it is. There's the Sigma. So we have the Orisa Sigma, and we also have the double hit scan. So that's going to put a lot of pressure onto whatever com comes at them. Uh, except if they run that uh, Doomfist. That Doomfist could be problematic for those uh, two hit scan players. And we have the Zen Bath as well. Yeah, just a lot of damage coming through from Solar Eclipse. A lot of damage being run here. So uh, we're going to jump straight into it. Both teams running the Orisa Sigma here. Uh, as well as double hit scan. So, I mean... It could go either way here. Um, I'm, I'm kind of curious to see how ERS does. Like, you know, Twitch chat's hyping him up, so I'm hyped up for him, and he auto he just gets that dynamite in, builds up 30% of his ult straight away. Oh, that's kind of kind of crazy, honestly. But Yarl finds a pick on to ERS, so I mean, er uh, Yarl just getting the best of him uh, in in this duel right here. And uh, Pyro, he has a good sightline, uh, but he jumps off the high ground because, I mean, they're pushing up straight into him. Uh, Yarl, though, getting a pick onto change six. Uh, Yarl, you know, just taking out the immortality field, you know? Uh, taking it out, you know, not letting him stay alive on this point. Well, you mentioned Yarl for being MVP, and it, it, he's got a good case, but he, he seems to get that first pick all the time. Yeah, and uh, Eras though, coming back with a pick of his own onto Dabarella and change uh, getting Yarl, but Yarl gets uh, rezzed. Interesting that they didn't rest the main tank, I guess it was because she died in a very bad spot. So, um, see how this works out. Window coming down just around the corner. That's a good spot to place it right here. Um, Vcat, you know, nice window placement here. Uh, Yaltic finding one onto uh, Eras, so they're just going to hold them off right here for just a little bit. That was a great window that was because it was enabled their wrists to get back. Mm -hmm. Put so much pressure on them. And here comes the Gravitic Flux. Uh, doesn't find much other than VCAP, but he or she, uh, they, I'm gonna say they because I don't know. Uh, they have an immortality field. But uh, there's two picks on the side of. Uh, on the, the side of. I'm brain farting, sorry. <laughs> on the side of Solar. Um, Y'all evens it up though. Here comes the bob from from them, and uh, they just you know just stall in the car. Here comes the dragons though. The dragons could be problematic, but they do have an immortality field, so they survive. Uh, it could be anyone's fight really. Y'all take finding Eras, and Yarl just taking out Hunter, and there it is. There's the defense. Oh, Pyro getting two picks! <laughs> wow, that's crazy. I mean, it's not really going to matter because the respawns are better uh, for the side of uh, Tater Thoughts, but I mean, it's kind of... that's kind of funny. Yeah, it was a good couple of picks onto the support, but it, it was in vain because they're, they're, they're going to be back straight away. Mm-hmm. Um, and they, the respawns do come back pretty uh, reasonably fast. Uh, ready for this next fight. So, uh, here it comes. Here comes the neutral fight. Let's see if uh, Eras can find an opening here. Hunter falling very low. They have to use the immortality field to keep him up. 
Uh, Yaro falls to the Zen, and Pyro finding one, but Yaltic pops his ult and finds two. Make that three. Oh man, Yaltic on the flank, uh, just finding the three. And uh, Yarl just cleaning him up right here. Uh, it's just absolutely insane. He has been flanking and just finding these picks. He's done it so many times this series. Yeah, that 3k with his uh, tactical visor, the way he just started it from the front and then flanked around, catching him off guard. Yeah, that was. <laughs> uh, I don't know. He's done that so many times here. Um, it's kind of, kind of insane that he keeps getting away with it. Uh, but I mean, they have the dragon strike and they have the Bob. Bob being thrown in. The rid of uh, the rid of flux being used. Immortality field is wasted. Uh, it was just popped a little too soon, in my opinion. Uh, people fall low, but it's not really gonna matter because they find a couple of picks. Uh, change six. It's just. Uh, you know, constantly keeping up this damage here, you know, keeping the front line nice, and, uh, front line nice and strong. Pyro finding Jaltic, and uh, as well as V Cat. So this could be the opening, and it's just they're just gonna roll it in right here. They might push forward to catch any staggers out uh, who got picked in the early fight. But I think it was only Yarl who was picked first. Yeah, and they, they got out pretty quickly, so, um, no staggers, uh, oh wait, no, he's he's running, I see him, he's running for his life, oh no, he, he got it, um, so, they popped this window right here, you know, setting up for this fight on the high ground, but they just kind of wait around the corner here, not really wanting to take this fight, uh, I don't think I agree with that window placement, I think they should have placed it right here, at main, um, but here it is. Here's the uh, supercharger. Supercharger dropping and uh, finding Eskimo finding one, and Jaltic coming through with his uh, with his tactical visor finding the Zen, uh, but neutral cleaning him up with the dynamite. So um, I mean, Yarl is just uh, kind of popping this around. He's he's been playing pretty insane. His, his tactical visor use has been brilliant. So like being able to judge when to do it, especially the double shield as well. Mm -hmm. uh, Yarl is, uh, well, his, his ash has been kind of nutty. Uh, and here comes the Bob being thrown in. Gravitic Flux being thrown down. And uh, they used the Immortality Field as well as the Transcendence. Uh, they could have just used one or the other, but I mean. Hey, who am I to judge? They do win out in this fight. They have to fall back right here. Uh, Tater Thoughts, that is. Uh, so they don't get any more staggers out. So, you might still um, be able to get a recontest. Yeah, you're definitely going to see a recontest here. Uh, going to be tough for them to win out, though, because they're just kind of being thrown in here. Here comes the Dragon Strike. Uh, not really finding much, but Hunter and Eraz finding a couple picks. And that's gonna do it. All that's left is Yarl, and he's being a pain in the side of Eraz right here. But uh, Pyro just taking him out. It's been an interesting battle between Eraz and Yarl on this dash. Mm -hmm. I, I think Yarl has been generally winning them though. I mean, the hype from Twitch chat about Eraz. You know, we can see why there's been some hype. Yeah, he's been holding his own in this Ash 1v1. I mean, Jarl just finding more picks in general, but I mean, his team has been definitely enabling him here. And uh, Pyro finding Yaltic, or Jaltic, uh, I don't really know how to pronounce it, but neutral, Jarl is uh, finding a couple picks yet again and taking out uh, Eraz. And uh, here comes the Dragon Blade. Oh no, not Dragon Blade, he just dashed. I thought I heard the ult being popped. Um, I was gonna say that was a big waste. <laughs> Yeah, they, they managed to hold them off. 50 seconds left. This third point is so tough to get on the Alto. Yeah. I mean, they did manage to push it this far, so even if they get stopped here, I mean, it's not a horrible, um, horrible place to just end up. We're gonna have six ults on the side of trucks. Yep, they pop the supercharger. Here it comes. It's placed in front of the shield though, so that could be a mistake. 
Uh, Jarl taking out change though, and Izzy finding uh, Jaltic pops the Dragon Blade and doesn't find anything. But Eskimo with the 3k. Oh my lord, nice Gravitic Flux. Uh, Jarl just finding these cleanups here. Uh, that should be the fight. That should be the uh, round as well. Dragon Strike being come in. Oh uh, yeah, it's not gonna be Oh wait, Hunter oh, getting one. This could be huge. Eraz finding one as well. Izzy getting Eskimo. This could be it. This could be the only thing they need. And Eraz just popping off with the Bob. Or I should say, uh, Bob is popping. Uh, um, so they are going to get more cart progress here. And that, that could be very vital on their defense. Wow, they managed to turn that, you know, lost fight into one that's actually winnable because Pyro uh, uh, just finding a pick. And so is Eraz, but Eskimo taking out Rogues. Uh, I don't know if that's really going to matter much, though, because uh, Pyro is just taking out Yarl. And there goes the May stall. Eskimo, though, is uh, sneakily taking out the uh, back line, but uh, it's not going to really matter because Eraz and Pyro. Oh my lord, how do they <laughs> how do they do that? <laughs> I'm dumbfounded. That didn't look so like they were going to get that third point. I mean, look, done and dusted. Eskimo just, you know, dropped him with that flux, and you all cleans him up. That that looked done and dusted. But then, you know, Eras come in with that ash fly, managed to get that bob on the pylo to contest it. Mhm. Mm and Hunter as well with the uh, opening pick. Uh, you know, he used the flux uh, on the Baptiste, but he uh, also finished him off with his uh, with his spears. So. Um, I mean, <laughs> all around, just insane play towards the end there from the side of uh, Solar. You got to give it to Izzy as well when he was challenged by the Genji with Dragon Blade and took him out. That that was a pivotal moment. Yeah, definitely for sure. Um, I mean, Izzy, he's been, or uh, I don't want to assume they have been playing very well on this uh, Zenyatta so far. I mean, it's just been working out very well for him. Oops. Generally, uh, if a Dragon Blades pop, a Zenyatta would also react with a Transcendence. But he held on to it, knowing that the point was going to be close to the end of time, so he could stall yeah. the point to get the back up. They took the gamble and it uh, <laughs> paid off. They took out the Genji and uh, saved the Transcendence. Oh, what's that? Saved the Transcendence. Um, yeah, we're going to be seeing a mirror matchup pretty much. The only difference, Izzy is running the Zenyatta. Uh, Pyro being, uh, well, picking off Jaltic, but uh, Chaotic finds the rest but falls straight into the water. Oh, that, what a blunder. What a blunder. I mean, the spawns for... Um, the spawns for... Uh, Tater Thoughts are better, so they're going to have to fall back here since they lost a couple of people. Uh, Solar, that is, are going to have to fall back. And uh, here come the respawns right here, right now, so they're going to be able to come in, take this recontest. Immortality Field just going to have to be uh, dropped so that they can keep the tanks alive. But Change falls to Jaltic's uh, uh, Dragon Strike, and uh, Eraz also falls as well, but Pyro. Finding Decat, and it's not really gonna matter because Jaltic is just absolutely popping on this Hanzo right here, and uh, Yarl just cleaning it up right here. Yeah, the damage that they was receiving, they had to throw that immortality out early to keep them up, and which the Hanzo took advantage of getting the two two man on the on the Hanzo dragon. Yeah, that was an that was an insane play, but um. It's looking like Tater Thoughts have a couple of ults to work with in this fight. Uh, they might build up Bob and uh, Valkyrie as well. Um, but, I mean, they have uh, plenty of ults to work with as well. Solar, that is. Eras finding Dabarella. Uh, the window is in a very nice spot to just peek and, um, you know, do a lot of damage with. Trying to get some pick on the Jolty. Mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah, I mean, they're gonna 
have to they're gonna be forced to just fall back here uh, both teams have the flux uh, and you know Izzy has that transcendence to you know counter the flux I mean they pretty much have every single ult to work with minus the window here uh, and here comes the Bob and uh, transcendence is not being popped uh, the immortality field being thrown down instead Jaltic uh, taking out the Bob you know taking out that little uh, bug but Pyro finding this nice little angle here, angle here, and taking out Jaltic with that Dragon Strike, and Eras winning out in the duel uh, against Yara. Yeah, that's gonna be the fight for sure. And uh, Eskimo gets uh, staggered. We still got plenty of time. There's still about three minutes there, yeah. and we all seen what happened on the the defense. There. Stalled it to overtime and then still managed to lose that third point. Mm -hmm. uh, pretty much even on the side of the ults here from both teams. Although I do like the fact that they have transcendence. And here's transcendence being used in response to the bongo, so that uh, could keep him up for quite a while. Immortality field has to be dropped. Yarl finding Izzy though. That could be the nice opening. And Yaltic. <laughs> wow. Popping right here with the Anzo, as well as Eskimo too. That was brilliant play by Yorty. Taking advantage of just one of the shields going. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> that was pretty crazy. Pyro finding uh, Yarl, right? But he gets res pretty instantly. Pretty easy res uh, right here. Here comes the Bob. Uh, it doesn't really find much other than zoning them uh, really uh, but Jaltic oh man he finds three yet again I mean if they come back fast enough this is easily winnable but I mean spawn advantage has to go to um, has to go to solar here so I mean they're gonna be able to come back even though that was a big play that was unfortunate that it was just the tanks left Mm -hmm. I, I, feel, I feel if both tanks were down, maybe they could have pushed this point. Yeah, could have been winnable. Pyro popping that Dragon Strike. Uh, Immortality Field being thrown down as a response. And Pyro finding their Aural in this uh, little duel here. So uh, they don't really have the Dynamite to put pressure on them. And uh, Eraz though, finding Dabarella. Uh, nice little rock being thrown down to assert dominance. I, I respect it. Well, so they both, have... Both, both sets of DPS are finding some really great p picks at the start of the fights. Yeah, and they have left to push this. It is very much possible, but uh, it's going to be tough with only a minute left. I mean, they have the Dragon Strike, and they have the uh, window here. But, I mean, they also... I mean, Eras has this Bob, and they have pretty much every ult come on mine. Hunter falling low, though. And window being popped. Uh, Jaltic finding this dragon strike, this nice little dragon strike here. Finding one. Uh, Immortality field being forced out. And they're going to be finding this kicks here. Uh, it's uh, not looking too good. Uh, Eras, though, finds the pick on the Yarl, but it's just not going to be enough because uh, Jaltic is just popping. <laughs> He's playing insane right now on this Hanzo. Izzy was unlucky with that transcendence. He was just a slightly too late. Yeah, um, I mean, they do have all these other ults to work with here, so I mean, they could easily win out in this fight, but I mean, if Eskimo's um, Rivetic Flex is better and Jarl's um, Bob is, you know, works out very well, it could go, you know, in the favor of, uh, of Tater Thoughts, but Jarl falls to Eras and Jaltic. Uh, finds Eras in return. Pyro though, taking out one Eskimo, uh, and Jaltic are just popping right now. It's just the same old, same old Eskimo and Jaltic. It's just a, you know, two man show. Ooh, nice rock. Well, we've got a bot to come back from Yarl. Yeah, you have. The Hanzo Dragon Strike from Gola. Mm -hmm. You have a nice little Dragon Strike coming through. To try to you know hold this point here. Uh, I don't know if it's gonna be enough, but Pyro finding a pick that could open things up, especially with the respawns here. 
Uh, however, Pyro does fall to Jarl. Uh, it's going to be tough for them to win this out. I do believe it is possible, though. Um, all they need to do is just find a couple picks here. Uh, but Jaltic is just still popping. Eras, though, finding Jarl that uh, he falls yet again. And Jaltic gets taken out. That could be the pick we need, or they need, uh, Izzy. Uh, as well, finding uh, Dabo, uh, Daborella, and they do win this fight. 20 seconds left. Uh, they're going to have to come back real quick into Chaotic. Just falls, as well as Rogue, but I mean, it doesn't really matter because the respawns are better for, um, for Solar here. And here we go. And here we go, last fight territory, uh, Dragon, uh, Dragon Strike being thrown in. Doesn't find anything but Jaltic uh, himself takes out Eras. Coalesce is being popped, as well as the beat. So that should sustain him for quite a while. Uh, huge mines being thrown in. Gravitic Flux, though, being popped. And uh, they're going to be able to win this out, it looks like, because Eskimo is just popping. He has been playing insane on the Sigma. No one is stopping him. He's absolutely insane. Yarl on the Raper trying to contest as long as possible. Yep, uh, he gets, uh, Eras just gets taken out though. And, uh, Jaltic, uh, taking out change. So, uh, it's probably not gonna be out. Jaltic is just cleaning these picks up though. And Yarl is, uh, I mean, they're trying to stall as best as they can. It's just not gonna be enough though. They have a mi minute each for both teams, so anything can happen with this minute each. I mean, you really can. I don't know. Both teams have been playing very well here. I mean, Eskimo, though, you know, from point two onwards, has been playing absolutely out of his mind on the Sigma. Yeah, his, his fluxes have been, like, very profitable for, for his team. Like three or four in every, in every flux. Mm -hmm. uh, as well as him just finding uh, finding picks on these spheres and the uh, I mean he's also been hitting some crazy rocks I, I've been watching uh, a couple rocks being thrown and just finding the stuns or just finding a pick in general with with the rock okay so we're seeing the same old same old being run from uh, the side of uh, Tater thoughts. However, they do have a soldier, so that's a little different. Hey. Oh, interesting. We see Eraz on the Reaper. I don't know if that's going to stay or not, but um, I expect Pyro to stay on this Hanzo, though. I'm trying to find these picks here. Yeah, and uh, Eraz is just going to be flanking right here. He's going to be taking this little back route while his whole team pushes main. On the background, he here he is. He's trying to find this opening, maybe on a support, maybe on Jaltic, and uh, they spot him though. So that uh, is going to stop the flank though. Pyro is uh, going to take out Yarl, but he gets res pretty pretty quickly. Uh, they're going to be able to push this cart quite a bit here. Uh, Pyro finding Bcat. That could be the opening. They don't have immortality field anymore. That is pretty huge. Eras in the back line taking out the other support. And they don't have any heals here other than the healing pad, but that's just not enough. And uh, Eras just cleaning them up here as well as Pyro. Uh, it's just, oh uh, man, they just win that fight straight up. They take the first point, which is pretty huge, I would say. Yeah, they took that really quick. Eras with the flank, managing to get a couple of picks to, just to really solidify that first attack. Mm -hmm. As long as they do not C9, they uh, are in good position to just uh, push the cart quite a ways uh, away. As long as this uh, Zen doesn't get off the cart. Okay, we're good. Uh, Jaltic pops that tactical visor, as well as the Riddick Flux being used. It doesn't manage to keep people off the cart, but Eskimo getting two, make that three. Jaltic finding two as well. I mean, Eskimo, man, he has been playing <laughs> insane on the Sigma. Yeah, you can't pull any anything he's done on Sigma today, especially on this map. Yep, and uh, they they do manage to cap as well as get a little bit of cart progress onto uh, second 
So um, that could be pretty crucial just capturing that point here, especially since Rialto uh, first point is usually pretty hard to uh, cap. Yeah, the first point can be very difficult to catch. You, you, sometimes you could even get stuck just in the chain, just have to bridge. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's looking like Solar is going to be running pretty much the same old, same old as they've been running pretty much the whole time on uh, on Rialto. So we'll see what uh, we'll see what what uh, Tater Thoughts uh, decide to run here. We can see if this uh, Ash from as Eras was is going to be able to handle the Farah from Jolte. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I would expect for Joltek to um, to swap here because, I mean, he must know that there's a Hanzo and a Ash here, but no, he's going to stick with it. He's hoping that he can find a pick here. He's going to be coming up over this roof trying to find a pick. He's uh, splashing him down right here, and he finds a pick onto Pyro. That is a pretty huge pick because Pyro's been clutching up, and uh, Yarl on the McCree finds a uh, change and uh, I mean they're just cleaning them up at this point Daltic finding a couple at the end there with the no mercy on the side of uh, Solar you know that pick he's just giving a free car push I will say though they died so fast that they are gonna have time to recontest here in this uh, overtime push however Pyro falling yet again to Daltic and so does change Oh no, this is uh, pretty bad. They need to regroup so they can at least recontest here um, for this little Hunter, next fight. Hunter Tain on the Diva to, to possibly help out Ezraz. Mm -hmm. uh, Ezraz does fall though. He was trying to contest as long as he can just so that the respawns can come through. Ash can come back pretty fast. Oh, never mind. He's going off the Reaper. But yeah, Reaper can still come back pretty fast. Uh, they are going to be able to recontest here. Hopefully, uh, Jaltic. Uh, well, they're probably hoping that he doesn't find another, but yet he does. Rogues falls, and that's going to be it. I don't think Eraz is going to be able to clutch this himself. Nope, he is not. Jaltic finishes him off. And uh, Zenyatta's the only one left, and that's going to be it. Tater Thoughts take it. 4 0. What a game. Yeah, Rialto, what a map that is. Like, you can get so many good games on, on Rialto. Mm hmm. And I mean, we need to, we need to talk about, like, <laughs> MVPs here because uh, there's so many to choose from. Uh, I, I guess the, I guess we should start with tank because I feel like that's the most definitive one. Uh, see, Eskimo has just been phenomenal today. On, on yeah, the, the, the Zarya as well as the Sigma, you know, just consistently clutch. I mean, change six as well. He's been really good today. Or well, they've been really good. I'm, I'm not sure if it's a, a, a lady or a male, but. Change six. He's, he's had some really good moments on tank as well. Mm -hmm. Probably been one of the standout for solo clips today, in my opinion. Yeah, for sure. But I mean, at the end of the day, Eskimo though, he's just the Sigma as well as the Zarya. You know, huge grabs coming through as well as the bubbles saving his Rhine from time to time. Yeah. Uh, I mean, you I, just have to. I mean, I can agree with the Eskimo being the tank MVP. Mm-hmm. Uh, what about DPS? Well, this is where this is a difficult. Yeah, this one. is where it gets tricky. <laughs> Maybe you can go to support first. <laughs> yeah, support, support. <laughs> what are your what are, what's your pick? I really liked Izzy today on support from the team of Solar Eclipse. Yeah, I I definitely agree. Um, Izzy, I mean, especially on Rialto, just showed that. I mean, you know. That that Zen can still work. <laughs> Zen's not out of it yet, but yeah, yeah I, I, I feel he's he's the one who stood out more on the support for me. Mm -hmm, I mean, don't get me sure. don't get me wrong, Thou on the Baptiste on on Temple of Anubis and other maps, like he was really good. Well, they were really good. 
But yeah, um, yeah, I, I can definitely agree with Izzy. Hmm. Now DPS. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, for me, I would probably give it to. I mean, at this point, Jaltek. Uh, I mean. <sighs> but if you look yeah. at the games that we've watched today with the DPS, uh, Jaltek, Jal, and Irok, like on the side of Tater Thoughts. Yeah. Like, I mean, they, Irok they, popped, they had, but what? They had their individual moments throughout the whole game. Yeah, I, I definitely agree. But I mean, Jaltek, I for me, he was in most of the time. Or she, I don't know. But they were in most of the time. Uh, and uh, I don't know. It, it felt like they were consistently just popping. Whereas, uh, I mean, Jarl has had a couple of, like, you know, high and lows. But uh, Iruk just consistently pops. But he just wasn't in enough for me. Yeah, I can agree with that. All right, so those are our MVPs. Uh, who are we giving it for DPS? Uh, Jaltik. Jaltik. Got it. Oh, the two brothers. Who are the two brothers? Uh, Eskimo and Jaltik. They're twin brothers. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. <laughs> that explains the synergy that Tata thought so good. Well, yeah. most of them have been playing for over two, three years now. Roughly when the game came out, most of the Tater Thoughts have been playing together since then. So they have their synergy is been there for a long time. It looks, it, it looks frightening to watch because some of their players, like their old management and the ability to peel for the support if the support need is peeling for. Yeah, for sure. I mean, Tear Thoughts were just playing out of their mind in their whole series. But, uh, I mean, that's our thoughts. Uh, anything else y'all want to add? Uh, um, just if you want to catch more amateur <laughs> Overwatch, <laughs> we're we're live tomorrow, what, which is Wednesday, yeah. Wednesday, and Thursday and Saturday. All right, and 